fun. We're here at Oklahoma Technical College and we're gonna learn about the welding program. I have Ron Riggs here. Welcome to the OTC Weld Shop. My name is Rod Riggs. I am the welding department head here at OTC, as well as the morning instructor. So why don't you join us for a tour of our weld shop? Let's go. So this is a weld shop. Okay, so what does the structure of the program look like? How long is it? When does it start? The course is broken down into seven individual phases, uh, and we cover the four main manual welding processes in use today stick, MIG, flux core, and TIG okay. on structural steel and pipe. Uh, each phase is approximately four weeks long. It's 100 clock hours. And usually in a typical week, we spend one day in the classroom going over welding theory, math, and blueprints. Okay. And then the other four days down here in the shop welding. All right, well can you show me around a little bit? What do we have going on here? Well, if you look around here, you see we have 24 separate weld booths. Okay. Each one has a multiple process welder with it. Each of these welders are capable of doing stick, MIG, flux core, and TIG, so the students can set up on any one of them that they want. Um, usually we have them set up, they start off with stick rod through here, and then as they progress through the course, they'll start utilizing these machines here for MIG and flux core, and then we have the welders set up on the end there for generally for TIG. Okay, so what does your typical student look like? Uh, that's, that's a wide question because I get students from all age ranges and backgrounds. So you don't really have a typical student? Not really, but I would say the, the core demographic is going to be younger, right out of high school up to about 25 years of age, male or female, since we have a lot of females entering the welding uh, welding field. All right. Um, Scrubbers and derivatives. And we have we have <laughs> older ones too, so it, it covers the whole whole gamut. What does a career in welding look like, and how do you set them up for that? Well, one of the things that we pride ourselves on here at OTC is student and instructor interaction. We spend a great deal of, stu a great deal of time with our students, one-on-one, uh, -on -one showing them everything they need to know. My end goal is to take everything that I've got in my head and my hands and transfer it to the student so that they have the best chance of success once they graduate. Okay, and how do you guys connect them to other resources and things when they graduate? I know we have our career services department. How does that work? Well, we have our career services. They help to, uh, to place the student into a job when they graduate. But we also utilize the instructor's contacts and networking mm -hmm. to introduce them to other companies. We also take field trips to other companies too, so they okay. get a chance to see how the welding world works mm -hmm. and also provides them an opportunity to network with those companies for potential job opportunities. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so, and you, you've been in the industry for how long did you say? Well, I've been welding since I was a teenager, since I came from a family of welders. Oh, cool. But um, I welded as a teenager a lot, and then I went, actually went to the military, served 20 years there. And then when I got out, uh, I knew I was going to go into welding as my second career. So I've been doing that ever since I retired in 2005. So I'm right at 15 years right now. Wow. My main job that I had before I came here was cross-country pipeline welding. Okay. So that, and I've worked in fab shops and everything, so I've done the whole range of everything. So I tried to pass along all that knowledge and experience to each one of my students. So you're definitely not the, those who can't do teach. You're, you can do it, I so can do you it, teach it. So I teach it. Exactly. Well, I love that. Um, so at OTC, we also set all of our students up with a computer and also a kit. What do they have in that kit, and how does that get them ready for their career? The kit comes with everything they need to start off uh, to cover all the welding processes here too, like their stinger and their TIG torch and things of that nature. Plus, they have all of their basic hand tools that they need and their safety equipment, CPE, uh, auto darkening welding hood, um, everything that they would need to start the welding and take that with them later when they enter the field. Okay. And so what does it take for a student to be successful in this program and in this field? It takes determination motivation and stick to it -iveness. Um, If you come into this program half-hearted and don't put in full effort, you're, you're going to get out of it what you put into it, mm -hmm. plain and simple. Uh, if you're motivated and you want to learn this, we go above and beyond, do anything we can to help teach the student. And that will just set them up for success later on. Because if they have, still have that drive and stuff when they graduate, then in the welding field, the sky is the limit. They can do anywhere. They could, they could be a traveling welder. They could work in a fab shop somewhere locally. It's, the world is wide open to them. It all depends on how far they want to push themselves. 
Well, thank you so much for showing us around. I love being able to see what we're working on. And uh, OTC is military friendly, it's Green Zone certified, and the other thing is we're a nonprofit, so we give back to the community a lot. What are some ways that your students have given back to the community? Well, we have partnered with um, several other nonprofits in the area uh, where we would go out and use it as a learning opportunity for our students to actually repair or build something out in the field. We have also um, produced, my students have designed and produced several custom high-end grills oh, wow. that were used to auction off to generate funds for uh, Folds of Honor and the other ones that they produced were auctioned off to generate funds for a scholarship fund. That's great. Well, if you're interested at all in this program, you can look us up at oklahomatechnicalcollege.com or you can call us at 918-895-7500. Thank you, Rod. You're quite welcome. Anybody that's interested, come on down and check us out.